Please, God. Oh my God, I'm so All right, there she is over there. I think it's been on the charger for an hour. So, let's see how she did. Oh, that's good, that's good, right? Come on, baby. Oh, nope, still has more time. Oh, bummer. Okay, I'll turn this AC off for sound. Here we are, uh, just loaded the car up, very sweaty. Um, I charged the car for four hours, oh, no, maybe three and a half. Um, last night, I set my alarm for 3.30 a.m. because it told me that's when it would be done charging. We are at 256 miles, that's what it says. Obviously, I think that'll be more like 210, 200, like going 60, 65 in the highway. I'm gonna keep it under 70, I don't mind spending a little more time on the road. We'll see what happens. Yesterday was a cluster. I will explain why I was running around trying to charge this car and it was impossible in Tucson. I hope that does not uh, uh, prepare me uh, negatively for this trip. I hope it'll be easier going forward, but we'll see. Let's get on the road. This is the moment, y'all. <laughs> Just drove three miles around to all these stations. One was reserved, one wouldn't work. The freaking Ensel X or whatever the hell it is app. Finally got one another mile away. It's charging. I'm soaking wet because of the rain. I haven't even started this video. Oh my God, I'm, I'm soaking, I'm soaking wet. One thing I'm going to say already about uh, this Bolt, um, very quiet, I love modern car, so that's great. I'm not used to this kind of stuff. Um, actually, that reminds me of something I'll say first. Um, it's really interesting. This is the first time I've driven a car with full battery, um, full battery power. And it's so weird that like my natural reaction is like hyper focused on what is using energy and what I can turn off to save energy, which is just very weird to think about that, where it's like I have the dis the main display off because I'm like, I don't want that sucking energy. And, and I have like, you know, all the dials down, like the brightness and I'm making sure the headlights are off if, if possible. I think there's daylight um, lights on all the time anyways, but it's stuff like that. And like, even I, I brought a, 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 like a phone brick battery where I'm like, if I have to charge my phone on this trip, I am not plugging into this car and draining the battery of this car. <laughs> so, it's so funny. It kind of reminds me of like driving an old Ford truck where you're like, okay, I have uh, 200 miles or less on this old beat up truck and then I have to have to fill it up again. And that's exactly how you have to treat these cars is like you have a very short range, but it's even worse than having an old truck because then you have to sit, you know, with this bolt, which has, a, I think, a 50, 55 uh, kilowatt charge, you know, charging capacity. You're going to be sitting for a long... So it's, like, worse than having an old... <laughs> I don't know. You're spending less money, more time. So it's it's the trade-off. Um, but, that yeah, that was a separate thought. Um, but, uh, yeah, the other thing was uh, I'm feeling a lot of heat coming from the windshield. Uh, more than most other cars. Oh, here comes the train. Oh, I love this. Here, wait. Here it comes. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the heat. So I'm, I, you know, I have the AC fan up a little higher than I normally would have it. Um, and I don't know if that's a, a bolt thing or if it's a battery thing. Uh, I've never been in a car where I've felt so much heat coming onto my face from the windshield, even in Arizona. So uh, maybe I'll look into that, maybe I won't, but uh, here's the train again. All right, at Costco, gonna get a hot dog, gonna get some uh, soft serve. 
I've got Thai market cookies that I baked last night to pair with said soft serve. Um, I'm gonna hop on this, uh, this app here um, that shows you all the charging look. I forgot what it's called, who cares? I'll put it in there. Um, see what it says, see if there's one around Costco so that maybe I could let it charge, go get a hot dog, and then you know offset the time that I'm gonna sit. So let's see what's going on. So the goal right now is to go across the street to Fairfield Inn. There's one there um, that you pay for, but I don't mind. And the idea is hopefully I can just charge this thing a little bit for maybe half hour, 45 minutes while I eat the hot dog and ice cream. I'm already eating the ice cream first because the second you step out of Costco, you're on a ticking time bomb. You're on a clock in Arizona before this thing just becomes soup. So let's see if it's over there and uh, what the situation is. Okay. I'm seeing this looks good, but it needs a uh, needs a charge point app. So I got to get the app, and this, it's a different one than there was in Tucson. Oh man, the America! You can't just have you got to get all these apps, and now I got to connect a car to it, and so it'll probably take me five minutes to get this figured out, hopefully, and then we'll get charging. All right, uh, looks good barely see that but uh, after a few tries in the app this is some failures it worked it just one of the times it clicked so we're good it says uh, oh can't see it push break to start I think it said 5 p.m. Um, but what's nice about this is uh, going from Tucson to Phoenix uh, outside of Phoenix here um, so we're down to 169 and then it says what, by 5 p.m. it'll be, yeah, by 5.30. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's the mileage, nine, six, three, nine. Let's do some math. I'm gonna go do some math and we'll see uh, how we did. Okay, I think it's been about an hour and a half. Not feeling good about this. I saved an extra half hour because I went and checked and it like had gone up just like 40 miles in the range and I was like, what? And so after an hour and a half, let's see what's uh, looking fresh. Let's see what's going on in here. Come on, baby. Come on, 203. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh cool, they, they give you a little receipt here. 557. One hour, 33 minutes and 34 seconds. Okay, not bad, it is hot. It is hot to the touch out here. Um, I will say though, man, um, this thing is slow. I, I watched a few like YouTube tutorials and stuff before I got this car to prepare myself for this trip. I still cannot believe Dollar would give me this. I'm sure it was just an algorithm, just like, you know, chosen at random. But it knowing I was going from Tucson to Burbank uh, is insane to assign me a Chevy Bolt, which is a slow charge vehicle, a low range vehicle. I'm at 204 potential miles. Yeah, minimum is 167. So in between there, I think is usually what they say you get. Um, I'm gonna have to stop again. So we'll uh, we'll see. Maybe somewhere like. Joshua Tree, no, maybe even before that, Indio, I don't know, but I gotta think about it already and that uh, is not ideal. Okay, so, gotta stay in the lane here. Just trying to get a really sick shot right now. Uh, so, let me turn this off. Um, so, uh, the next station I'm gonna try to stop at is Blythe. Uh, seems legit. Um, 118 miles away from where I am right now. Wow, it got so hot once I turned the AC off. I'm telling you, it the heat is just fuming. It's spilling through these windows. Oh my God, it's so, anyway. Um, uh, Chevy, figure that out. But uh, in the meantime, 118 miles to Blythe. That seems like the best option and probably just do another hour there. Maybe hour and a half again. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not trying to run it too low. But then it seems like I'll stop one more time before Burbank, and then obviously Burbank has the free charging stations uh, very close to where I'll be, which is nice. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, uh, I have a love. 
the Over Mono remix just came on. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy that. We'll see what happens uh, in between now and then. Cause Oi have a love and it'll never fade. And Oi do with you, Paul. here in a second um, I could only find ones in <laughs> I feel bad I could only find ones that were six to six and a half kilowatts per hour that's what the one I was just at um, last was so it's not not the bolts fault uh, you know obviously very low speeds um, so that's why I didn't fill up I I should have noticed that but this next one is everything in Blythe that can charge the bolt seems to be six six and a half as well so slow charging uh, a lot of the hotels I guess I, I read on uh, plug share they're, they're not gonna let you use it unless you're a guest so I'm going to the I think it's like City Hall or city whatever government building it is and uh, see if I can grab that and do a to walk half around half, for take exit 240 for 7th Street toward Blythe okay I'm gonna do that um, and uh, walk around I'm tired so maybe try to take a nap somewhere in 110 degree weather yeah we'll do that a cute part of town here. I think this might be the building. Murphy. Or no, this. Turn right, then your destination will be on the left. Yeah, it's gotta be this brown building. So, Blythe Lodge. It's gotta be this guy right here. No, I'm going! I'm going! Turn left, then turn left. Okay. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Come on, baby. I saw it back there. No, Google, I know where it is. Thank you, and <laughs> I saw it back there. I think there's one person on one side of it. There we go. Let's see. Another slow one, six kilowatts. Let's see if this guy's using it. Your destination is on the right. All right, looks like he's using the one on my side. So that tells me that, that the other one's broken, so I gotta go check that. I don't know, it looks good, it clicked. Let's see how much, might need to move the car closer. Yeah, okay. Okay, this guy's really messing with uh, my vibe here. Oh! <laughs> Look, I parked right on top of it. Oh man, these are the days, man, these are the days. Gotta go up just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, feeling good. Just me and the bros charging. Um, it is so hot outside. I am going to, I feel safe leaving the car here with all my stuff in it. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, walk somewhere. I saw an Albertsons, they got air conditioning. I saw all the stuff just up the street. So we're gonna go and just waste an hour and a half, maybe even two. I've dropped below a hundred, uh, you know, the average range. Um, and, you know, going through some hills, like on the way to Blythe from Tonopah and, uh, it like the, the 96 to 85 drop happened very quickly. So <laughs> I think it just spent a little too much energy on those hills. Um, I'm going to give it a little more time cause I know it's even worse getting closer to Los Angeles. You go through the, you know, the wind farm area up and down this, the big hills. I don't feel comfortable with that. So I'm going to have, I'm going to game that out while we're waiting for this to charge. My poor phone is so hot right now. I don't even know if it's recording. Cute, Blythe is cute. Got the umbrella. It's very hot. Uh, Tucson doesn't help me in this situation. It's still very hot regardless. Um, but uh, I see a Starbucks. I've got some leftover money on a, from a gift card. I love getting those gift cards on film sets from mommy and daddy on Christmas. No one knows what to get me. Except for money on a gift card to Starbucks. Safe bet. So, I feel like I'm getting a hang of this charge thing and the whole process. And I mean, this uh, this app that I'm using now outside of Tucson, ChargePoint, much easier. Like, it, it lets you monitor and uh, 
You can see how much time it's been, how many, you know, how much power it's been, it's putting out. That car that was next to me over there obviously unplugged because now I was getting like over seven uh, kilowatts. So that was nice, but that only think has been happening for the past 20 minutes, maybe 25. Um, but yeah, I am not excited to see what kind of uh, range I'm gonna get when I get back there. It's, I don't think it's been long enough to get me anything significant. Um, and uh, I will say I was, I was a little bit confused. A lot of people on this charge point, um, like in the comments when they check in, they're like, oh, like here's what the weather was, like here's how hot it was outside. And, and I, I guess it makes sense. Maybe that slows down the charge of the battery or how much power it can put out. But I mean, this thing is only rated at six to six and a half, seven kilowatts, and it was putting it was putting out more than that. That's what the the app said, at least. So I'm not sure what the the heat has to do with it. Um, maybe if you can just drop me a little, you know, comment why people are saying what the temperature is outside. Um, but yeah, that's that. Starbucks was great. I am realizing that uh, I. I think I've grossly miscalculated how much time this is gonna take. It's uh, 5.30 right now. I've just, you know, I was waiting till after five to leave. Um, and I think that's gonna put me to like Indio in an hour and a half, uh, if all goes well. And then I'll probably have to charge a little bit there as well to make it uh, the rest of the way to Burbank. And that's gonna put me, you see what I'm saying? I'm gonna see. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm gonna roll into Los Angeles pretty dang late. Um, but damn, yeah, I maybe I'll, I'll have to get some, uh, get some backbone and risk it, and maybe just charge a little bit less in Indio, and just know that I'll be okay uh, when I get to Burbank, and just immediately plug it in. But uh, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, this is the problem, right? These are the problems when you're not uh, driving with gas. All right. As expected, the other person left. That's why we're getting a little more charge out of it. Looking good, looking real good. Had to extend those since they took the wrong one. Um, let's go ahead and uh, pull this boy. Look at that, only 349. Oh. I always forget to unlock it. Yeah, that's a Chevy thing, I think. 120. Wow, that is uh, very disappointing. All right, I'm gonna do this uh, charge door open. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, Chevy. Shit. Oh. What a mess. There we go. Oh my god. This whole thing. I am so hot from walking back from Starbucks heat advisory today in Blythe, the hottest place on earth. Like I said, I'm going to do this while uh, they're telling me where to go because I am freaking out right now. Okay, let's go left. Um, this, is, uh, this is probably where the people... This is probably why... The, in the very beginning, the guy was like, if you pay more, it can get you out of this car. And I was like, no, it's fine. And this is why he probably was like, get out of this car. Um, because um, I, I was uh, not aware that all of these charging stations are gonna be six, seven, eight kilowatt charging power. And uh, that's not that's that's not gonna get me very far. So, so I think I rolled up at like 82 range, and now I'm at 119, and that's gonna start going down very quickly on the way to Indio. I have to stop in Indio now, guaranteed. That's about 100 miles away. So, <laughs> God damn it! It's say, it's saying minimum 97. That's what they say to go by. Is like you know. You drive 60, 70 miles an hour, you're going to get the minimum or, or closer to that. So, oh man, I am I am about to roll up to Burbank probably 1 or 2 or 3 a.m. Because um, I'm going to have to be in Indio for a while unless it gets me 50 uh, kilowatts. But I don't, oh man. I'm having a 
sending a minor freak out right now. <laughs> it says, uh, uh, you know, 65 range, uh, 53 minimum, 76 maximum. Uh, <laughs> I've got 37 miles till this uh, charging station. This is this is going down a little faster than uh, one mile. <laughs> Look, my friends. Yes. Yes, gather that sun. See, I wish, you know, I wish they just had solar panels on top of these cars because I'm about 25 miles away from this next charging station, which is uh, far sooner than I uh, planned on having to stop. Um, and I've got what looks to be uh, conservatively 38 miles before this thing is uh, before this thing is dead. So, uh, you know, good on you for the solar panels. Love that. Maybe put them on cars. Uh, you know, between Arizona and California, the amount of sun that's just hitting this car that could have been uh, powering it. I think I've seen people with Teslas and all these, you know, that, that have the solar panels. I've seen like DIY janky ones where it's just one big solar panel on top of a Tesla. That's kind of silly. Um, but after this experience, I'm sweating right now. I, I've only run out of gas once in my entire life and this is the same feeling where I'm like, am I about to get stuck in the middle of the desert? Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Morning just came on to charge the vehicle. <laughs> I'm like four miles from uh, the charging station, which I mean, fingers crossed, I can charge there, right? Like, man, that's so crazy to think about if if something's wrong with it or if they're taken. Oh man, I am like, I am not doing well emotionally right now. <laughs> but. Um, I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, I would assume I have to be at this place for three hours, maybe four. I think this this charger can go up to 50 um, for the bolt, which would be nice. But if it's down at six, like the other ones, I'm gonna, uh, I'll be here for four or five hours. I would just sleep in the car. I, I might just sleep in the car if it's not gonna go above six or seven. Oh man. This is, I'm at, I'm at 54 miles an hour right now and everyone's passing me. It's so, like semis are, it's so scary. And I'm just like, please, it says it has 19 miles left. Please give me four. I just need four. All right, we've made it to the Matzner Tank Pavilion. Feel good about it. Here's our Chevron. Supposedly this is gonna have our charging station that can go up to 50 for the bolt. We're gonna do this real time, guys. We're gonna see if I can, oh my God, land this. Could you imagine if I don't get this charger? I'm gonna freak the fuck out, dude. Let's find it, where are ya? Where are ya? We're looking, we're looking for a charger. Looking for a nice old, this person behind me is trying to go around here. Oh, oh, is that it? Oh. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I'm gonna try to go around this guy. Oh my God. I see it. Oh, I'm gonna park. Who cares if it works and I'm parking in front of it. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> you guys, I freaked out. I pulled, I pulled that other one. I pulled the other one. Look at this. I think it says, what it just said, I, I missed it. Um, oh, there we go. 80% by 9 p.m. So three hours of fast charging will get you from basically, what, 10% up to 80. That's what I've been missing this whole time. And the issue was, and this is huge, is everywhere I stopped, or you know the places that I found to stop on the way didn't have fast charging for non-Teslas, um, and and that makes sense why I found all these YouTube videos about like you know how to convert the Tesla chargers for your Chevy Bolt because 
it's that would it's it's improbable. It's it's unfeasible for me to think that I could go from Tucson to LA at six kilowatts or whatever you call it. Um, that wouldn't have been possible. I'd have to stop for at least a night to charge for six, seven, eight hours to get you know enough to keep. So the, the whole this idea of like needing to bounce from one to the next and like you know like I did almost run out of power completely between Phoenix and Los Angeles that can't happen and uh this was a really good experience to be like oh and i'm talking like i'm done yet i'm not even i'm not even to to indio and and so and so luckily this is a fast charge i am going to stay here for a few hours um but this is extremely disappointing to see the people that have been talking make sense. I agree with them now. The infrastructure is not there. They're either broken or there's not enough fast chargers. Like here's a Tesla. Um, yeah, it's just, it does, none of it makes sense. And I feel like, uh, I feel like I should sue <laughs> dollar rental because there's no way that a computer decided that this was the right decision to give me an EV vehicle to go from Tucson to Los Angeles. And there's also no way that a human shouldn't have immediately saw that and went, ah, give him a car. And the fact that I walked in and the dude know, he knew it was going to be a problem. And that's why he immediately said, I can, I can get you out of this for $25 a day. And I was like, no, like, this is what I, this is what I paid for. Give me a vehicle that's going to go from Tucson to LA and, uh, I mean, technically I guess it does, but the fact that, you know, I almost ran out of power, um, is, is really interesting. And, uh, it's something that, uh, really worries me, um, about how quickly we're going to EVs and how, um, uh, this is not, this is not okay. So I'm not even close to being near Burbank, but all I know is that, uh, I almost started crying because I thought I was going to get stranded in the desert and have to call a tow for an EV. <laughs> so, so the the journey is still uh, in the middle. Um, luckily, they have, you know, a coffee shop here and a place to hang. I'm going to be here for three hours. I think I'm just going to say screw it and then, you know, top it off um, somewhere, you know, in, in Los Angeles before I get to Burbank. Um this was crazy. This this can't happen. We're close, y'all. 72%. It's been uh, two hours. I did hung out in the cafe, had some dinner, worked on an edit, got some Foster's Freeze. I love that they have that out here. Um, I don't know. It. This is where it starts getting interesting for me. So it's a fast charger, but obviously the bolt can only take 50 or 55 max. So I'm getting charged for a fast charger, but it's not fast charging. So we're close. I think I'm going to be 30, 35 dollars when this is at 80 uh, percent after two hours and probably 10 minutes. That for me is like. That's too much. And so, you know, a tank of gas is like, you know, for a Kia Soul, the same size car and that kind of mileage, eh, it's like 40 bucks, right? 35, 40 bucks, even in California. Um, I'm gonna have to do some math after this. This was a hell of a trip and I'm not even done. I still have 180 miles left. I'm gonna have to stop outside of Glendale most likely to top this off to be safe. I mean, the Fosters is helping. All right, so we are entering uh, into the, you can see the blinking red lights here. Entering into the zone, the wind zone, <laughs> the wind turbine zone. So uh, we're at 157 uh, average, a low of 126. And so I wanna see how I come out the other side of this because if it goes well, um, there's only 115 miles to Burbank, but obviously that's pretty hilly from here on out. So with the ups and downs, I don't know if this battery is going to run um, that long, but I do, this is kind of the decision making that you got to do with this sort of stuff, right? Is like, oh, am I going to have to stop again? Like for how long, where? It's like, uh, you know, you're constantly having to figure out where to go 
rather than, oh, there's a sign for a gas station. So I'm gonna see what happens on the, on the other side of this uh, wind turbine section and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we've passed uh, Morongo Casino. Um, that's where I kind of end uh, what I consider the wind turbine tunnel um, where it throws your car around. So we're looking at, uh, what do we got here? About 119 average, but minimum, which is what we look at, 92. Uh, about um, 88, 89 miles to Burbank, including hills. And so, I don't know. I don't know what move to make right now. I think um, I'm gonna give it another probably 20, 30 miles of driving um, to see where this battery puts itself at. And then from there, uh, I'll make a call. I, I won't mind stopping somewhere, especially at a free one in the Los Angeles area. I'm assuming at this time of night, people are out, it's Friday night. Um, I'm assuming the chargers will be open wherever I go outside of LA. Um, but man, I've been driving all day and I do not want to stop for a half hour or whatever it needs to be just to get me to Burbank safely and get to that free charger um, in Burbank. So yeah, we'll see what's going on. All right, well, I made it to Burbank. There was a charging station at a Walgreens. Uh, only one of them was working. The rest of these like are hard to find around this area because there's a, a farmer's market on Saturday morning. Ugh, so they're all like closed. Um, so I just told my friend, I was like, yo, can I please just use your house to charge this? I forgot that it has a charger. I'm just gonna pay him, uh, you know, whatever to use his garage. I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think you need like a special whatever. Um, but, uh, it is 12, 19 in the morning. I left at eight, like right before eight in the morning. Um, maybe, eight, okay, maybe eight, I, we'll figure that out later, but, um, definitely more than 12 hours. <laughs> so, so, uh, we'll figure out, uh, with the closing of this, uh, tomorrow or the next day, whenever I get to this. If it was worth all of this, uh, or if it wasn't. All right, I am very worried right now. I am so tired, I woke up again to check on this freaking car. I set it last night at like almost 2 a.m. to charge down here in Burbank on one of the slow chargers. It looks like it stopped after a couple hours, so I'm gonna go check it out to see um, if it completed the charge. If it didn't, dude, I only have a couple hours before I have to turn this car in, so I don't even know if a fast charger is gonna help me Here we go, it's one of these street ones. This is our moment of truth here. I'm just gonna roll straight to the front of it. Oh my God, it's green. That's good, right? I mean, it's done. Solid green. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Please, God. Oh my God, I'm so... All right, so here's the situation right now. City of Burbank cuts those chargers on the street off after two hours. So not only is it slow charge, but it stopped charging after two hours. I tried to get some sleep. That was obviously a mistake. Uh, <laughs> this is a mess. I knew it wasn't over. I knew it wasn't over. So I am driving to the only fast charger in a in a five mile radius Continue right now. on West I Magnolia Boulevard for half a mile. Um, it's 7:20 in the morning. I have to return the car at 11:20. I still have to get back to the house uh, and get the charger 
and gather some stuff. I mean, it's on the way, so it's not a big deal, but I'm gonna cut it real short. Um, if it's not available, I'm just gonna have to pay a dollar to charge it. In a quarter it. mile, um, turn left onto North Wayne Street. Whatever, a dollar fifty per kil kilowatt, hour, whatever it is. Um, this is insane. <laughs> this is insane. All right, so I got this fast charger plugged in. 45 minutes remaining. It says one minute remaining. Charge completes it. Yeah, this thing is messed up. Anyway, um... You guys, this is not, this is not okay. Um, I wish Burbank, I mean, there wasn't anything on the app that told me it would cut off after two hours. I don't, I didn't see anything on the actual uh, EV station. I dropped it there just before 2 a.m. Uh, and then I woke up at seven um, to check and that's when I realized it had stopped charging. So I biked down as quick as I could. Um, this is going to be an hour, I think, for, for this to get uh, full charge, it looks like. There is a nice breakfast place here. I might, I might go in there. I'm not hungry. I'm just angry. <laughs> so, um, I've made my decision uh, about all of this. Uh, I've made up my mind about all of it. Uh, with a car like this, it should have never been given to me for, for this trip. They knew it was a one way Tucson to Burbank. That is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles. Um, and I had to return it, uh, you know, <laughs> it's, and so for them to give me this car with a, a low wattage battery, slow charge, um, small range, I, I'm just upset and I'm, and I just, I've spent the past entire day worried about where to charge this car, if it was gonna die. Um, I'm so tired and I cannot believe that I lost another good night of sleep so I could charge a car. Oh my God, they, they give you a charger with the car, of course, you plug it in at, at the house like I did last night and it would take two days for it to charge because, you know, it's a regular outlet. Uh, I think if you had like a, what is that? Like a 30 watt plug-in that would also take probably half a day at your house. So uh, I had no options except for to come here. I wish I should have just known that. Uh, I should have just come to the fast charger last night and slept in the car or something. Um, but at least I know we're gonna be good I'll probably pay another whatever it is, 15 bucks for this, maybe $12 for this charge, we'll see. Um, ugh, I, just, I can't believe this. All right, I'm not sure what's going on here. It says charge complete, but it's not even halfway. It says charging, 36, yeah, see it knows. No, something's wrong with the car. So it stopped again, charge complete. Yeah, something's wrong with this car. So, there we go. Wow, it, it, it kept not charging and I realized that this bar was down to here. And so it was full. Um, and I, I, I was freaking out that it wasn't charging, but I'm gonna turn it off and see what it says now. Okay, that goes out. Get out of the car, maybe this will shut it down. Here we go. Here we go, 80%, 45 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna give it an hour because I need to return it at 80%. There we go, oh my goodness. I was, <laughs> I guess for those who don't know, like there's that the charging menu on the car and for some reason that slider was down, like that's where it should stop the charging, it, which makes sense that you can do that, but I don't know why it was like that. And so it kept saying that it was done charging. I thought something was wrong with the, with the machine. Um, honestly, I took a video of it and I should have just turned it into dollar and been like, your car's broken. <laughs> Maybe it's a cheat code, but I, uh, I'm here, I'm invested. I'm not gonna deal with that. So 
uh, give it an hour, see if I can go get some breakfast to we'll see if they're open and just get done with this. <laughs> All right, solid breakfast. Um, I think I'm at 90%. Man, Los Angeles, got a breakfast sandwich at this place. It's kind of a uppity, like there's always a line, but I was, I was there before they opened. Um, $18 for a breakfast sandwich and uh, six little pieces of melon or whatever. So yeah, $7 in Tucson is what I got the breakfast sandwich before I left. And it was better in Tucson. Um, yeah, 89%, I'm gonna wait just a little bit. It's so awkward, look at this. I have to park the car sideways in these spots cause like this access point is so hard to get to and these don't extend. So, I don't know, dude. This whole thing has just been a freaking mess. And uh, I'm just gonna take advantage of the car, go grocery shopping on the way back, and you know, I've got a couple hours. Bob Hope is right down the street. That's why I returned it there instead of anywhere else. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I'll do a little closing over there. Um, <laughs> I will never forget this. All right. About to return this guy. Um, I'm above 80%, feel good about it. I've <laughs> got my bike in the back. I'm gonna bike, bike home after this. I'm gonna have a nice long ride to think about what I've done today. Uh, let, we'll do a little talk on the bike. I like to talk on the bike. Uh, I've got my headphones, the classic wired headphones. There's zero uh, wind noise with these. I love these. Oh, I'm gonna go here. Um, <laughs> Let's get rid of this car. All right, so I'm just gonna start riding in the direction of where I'm staying. I don't know where I'm going, but let's just talk for a little bit. Um, yeah, this seems right. So I just returned the car. It's out of my hands, so to speak. Literally figured all of it. Any saying you can think of, let's say it, because we're done, we've, we've done it. Uh, I think along the way, you probably noticed that this is far uh, more problematic than it should be to rent a car and do this. Um, so I will say, uh, I don't think I'd ever do this again, but there's a giant butt coming. Um, you know, <laughs> money talks, money talks, man. And I returned the car. <laughs> after this treacherous journey and I'm I'm like sleep deprived and I'm angry and I'm just I was like I definitely I have three or four more uh, gray chest hairs but you know what I turned that sucker in after fast charging this morning for $12 or whatever it was I'll have to get the total later we're gonna do a review of all this and see him how much I actually spent $28.41. That was a two-day rental. One way. A one-way two-day rental. So I was like, what does that come out to be? Like, this is not a round trip. This is a one-way. 28, uh, let's do some quick math. I haven't slept in two days. Uh, you know, $13, let's just say that. Uh, maybe $14 each day. $14 a day for a vehicle? that you don't have to pay gas for. Um, I'm not as angry anymore uh, <laughs> after the sticker on this. Uh, the sticker is ideal. I, <laughs> God, this was so bad. This was so bad, for, but for less than $30 of a rental for two days to go from Tucson to Los Angeles and pay, I'm assuming $50 total or less in charge fees, Shit, come on. I'll take it. We'll, we'll talk about this, but I'll, I'll take it.
so block the wind hopefully I'm gonna try to keep this under a few minutes my phone is always running out of storage as always as usual um, let's talk about this uh, this rental this EV so <laughs> in the very beginning uh, I set myself up for emotional failure I, I, I didn't say this but I should the rental was meant to be $75 so when I went to Dollar, rented it for two days, one way, it was a $75 estimated price tag. And I was like, oh, okay, that's normal. That's actually cheaper than most places in the U.S., uh, major cities. Um, and I love Tucson for that. So um, I think along the way, I was really mad because I knew it was a $75 price tag plus everything else I was doing plus the time. So I think that's why when I got to the end, and it was ended up being $28 and change, I was like, oh, this changes everything for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's go through kind of why this happened and uh, some things that you know I learned. I rented the car from Tucson Airport. And I needed it for a full day to move some stuff into storage. I only I knew I was only gonna need it for a day to drive to LA, or so I thought, because you know, you know, seven, eight hours, maybe nine if you're running into all the traffic, but I knew I would leave where there'd be no traffic. I wouldn't hit Tucson traffic, Phoenix traffic, or LA traffic. I knew I'd miss all of it when I left. And so um, I could see the first day that it was already becoming a bit of a problem. I, I, I would drive, I think it was around 20 miles, no, less than 20 miles um, each way. Uh, and I did that, I think, three times. So let's just say I did 100 miles safely. Um, the first day, and I could see it drain. I did spend, uh, I believe it was an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Um, I just stopped at a resort, you know, like a hotel resort by the storage unit and had it charged for 45 minutes or so um, on a charger that I think got around six kilowatt hours. You know, one of the cheap ones, uh, actually that one was free, um, but you know, typical charge point ones that are very low uh, wattage. Um, and I had some fries and a Sprite, watch the game. Uh, and then after 45 minutes, I was like, okay, eh, it doesn't get much, but fair enough. And then, uh, you know, that night, that's when it, all the problems started with, for me, is I plugged it into the charger overnight, also another free charger, uh, downtown Tucson, which is not, was not far away from where I was moving all this stuff. And, uh, that, I think it was on the charger for, I don't know, let's say 12 a.m. to 3.30 a.m., something like that. Um, and then I went and checked on it and it got to, I think it was around 80%. Um, and I was like, cool, good, that's nice. So it's been a few hours on there. Um, I did have to wake up early to get it out of there uh, and so I wouldn't get a ticket. Um, but all that to say, I was like, okay, this is gonna be an issue. Um, once I started the trip, uh, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm screwed. Because Tucson to Phoenix was fine. I got outside of Phoenix to that hotel where I stayed for a couple hours and let it charge. And that got a significant charge. Um, and it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't fast. And that's when I was like, oh, I, I have to change all of my plans. That's when I knew it was going to go from probably a 10-hour day to like a 14 or 15-hour day. Um, I got to the next one. And that was when I went to the coffee shop and, you know, spent an hour and 45 minutes, whatever it was, hanging out and letting it, it was so hot. There was a heat warning. Um, and I was like, oh man, like this sucks. And um, I don't know if that makes it charge slower. I don't think it does because it was still sitting at that six to eight kilowatt hours when I would look at the app. Um, just slow, just overall slow. That one I did pay for. Um, and then uh, that's when I was like, I'm screwed because I thought that was going to really get me up, but that, that charge didn't get me more than like 60 miles, miles out of it. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. And so then I went to the next one and that one, as you know, was a fast charger. And so I just ate there and I hung out there, edited some video. And this is where the issue comes up is for someone like me that it doesn't, my time doesn't matter to me when I'm doing something like this. I could, I could have taken four days and it would have been fine. But the issue is, is that I always have something to work on, but these places, the Wi-Fi is terrible, even Starbucks. What happened to Starbucks? I used to be able to go around the US and, and hop into Starbucks and it would be Google Fiber, or it'd be like 100 megabits per second. And now it's like capped, it's like throttled at like 20. And so you can't get anything done. I was trying to download the one video I needed to get this job done. It was 13 gigabytes, which would normally not be a problem, It'd take less than an hour. It was gonna take three hours anywhere I went around Phoenix, in, the, you know, in California, everywhere. It was gonna take hours and hours to download. 
and it wasn't worth my time. So that's part of the issue is like if you're if you care about your time or you need to get things done, it's not worth this trip. Maybe if I had a hotspot that might have changed some things for me, but I don't pay for that. Like this is America. We have Wi-Fi. Well, not really. But <laughs> but anyways, that was part of the issue is I couldn't get work done and I was waiting for this thing to slow charge. The car they gave me, and this was the story with Dollar. I show up and the dude, the second he looked up my name, he was like, you have an EV. Do you know what that is? And I was like, yes, I know what an EV is. And he, but I think what he meant was, do you know how big of a problem this is going to be for you? And I didn't agree to that because they want $25 a day to, to change your car to a different one. And I was like, oh, this is a scam you guys are running, isn't it? But my mom brought something up interesting when I, when I told her it, was, it ended up being $28 at the end, which makes this all okay for me. And she was like, I wonder if they just gave it to you because they can't rent them. They're just sitting around. And I, I would agree with that. That's, I, I'm gonna, that's the hot take that uh, Nancy Lou, my mother and I are gonna, gonna bring to this video is like, I think these rental companies just can't get rid of these cars and they just sit and they're like, dude, give the kid that pays the least amount of money Give him the EV. We don't care that he's going 500 miles. Give it to him. And so I, you know, I couldn't say no to that. Obviously, it's what I paid for. Um, but ultimately, yeah, it, it. If I were doing this and, and I, I was on a clock or I cared about my time or like you know I was whatever, I wouldn't have done it at all. I would have just said no to pay the 25 bucks and got out of there. But ultimately, I didn't mind this. I didn't mind the fact that it was such a problem and I had to wait hours and hours to charge this thing and. And I was like sweat, literally sweating on the highway, like thinking I was going to break down in the middle of nowhere, to, you know, just trying to get to the next charger. Like it's, I didn't mind all of that. And that's all I'm going to say about it. This was a, uh, a really fun experience. I will never obviously do this again unless I uh, hate myself, in which I would do it again just to um, punish myself. But otherwise, uh, we still have a long way to go with our infrastructure, with cars that, that can charge faster than 55 watt hours. It's, you know, you've got those levels as always in capitalism. It's like, if you got the money, you can pay for the good stuff. If you don't, you're gonna get shit. And so that's a bummer. But uh, until then, I made it here, we're fine. And uh, I'll figure out what video to do next, but enjoy the view. Okay, wait, wait. I don't know if I said this, I think I missed it because I was in a rush. Um, the ultimate, uh, the amount of money I spent on the charges from beginning of Tucson when I rented it, used it for a full day to move stuff, and then from, from then all the way till turning it in at 80% at Burbank Airport. Grand total, $54. I know I spent probably eight hours total or maybe even more charging this thing, but $54 to charge this plus $28 rental fee. That was it. That was the total. So <laughs> less than $100 to get to have it for two days, get here and turn it in uh, full charge. So that for me is huge. And uh, that's what made it more than okay for me. One tank of gas and even the nicest Kia Soul Toyota Camry, 54, 50, you know, 60 bucks, depending on what state you're in. Between Arizona and California, you're paying around 50 bucks. Once you cross into California, you're probably paying 60 bucks or more to fill up these cars. So that's one tank of gas. It would have taken me two and a half probably. Um, so even just the gas is more than the entire, this whole thing. So that's fine with me. <laughs>